is us to Norman's actually just me and Ron are here to watch more of the Seven Deadly Sins. Sadly, our other sin, Mikey cannot make it. Again, I've said this plenty of times, like, we are literally the hardest group to get in yeah. touch because... He lives in a different state. He lives in a different state, and, like, we only meet up on, uh, you know, we only meet up on the uh, on we Fridays. Are. And, uh, yeah, so, and this week he just cannot make it, you know. A He's lot having of, some car trouble. A lot of issues, a lot of issues, I would say. So, he will be back with us next week. I know how much you guys loved him, but he will be back next week, I promise. He's, He's like, yeah, he's our favorite here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to dust off this episode 17. Um, He will watch it on his own, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and uh, he'll put that off out there for you guys. Or, I'm actually, no, we'll see what happens with that one. He'll watch it as well, for sure. Yeah, he'll watch it, definitely. I mean, he's definitely going to watch it. Yeah, obviously. obviously. <laughs> Regardless. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of short on time, guys, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, just a couple of things that's really, really badass. Escanor, obviously, we've been really, really wild by, wild, wild by him. The giant story. Yeah, let's just see where all the sins go, man. I feel like the sins are... It, it, you know, somebody out there was saying this, the, this story is trash. And I'm like, you know what? Every story is good in its own different way. This story, in my personal opinion, is just a very, very fun adventure. Yeah. You know, like big, a big group of friends, and you got to appreciate that. Is this a market substitute? No, it's not a market substitute <laughs> for the actual Seven Deadly Sins show. Please support the OG content. We watch it on Netflix. You can too. If you want to check out our uh, Patreon, you can. We are a bunch of episodes ahead. Our uncuts are on there as well. And uh, just have an awesome day, guys. Remember, comment, like, or subscribe. We love you. It was really good. It was a very good team up with everybody. This everybody. Was literally one of my favorite episodes. I'm trying to be left. But uh, what I was trying to say is, um, yeah, that was really, really good. I really enjoyed the team ups. It was very, very nice. Uh, I really felt bad for everybody else that didn't make it to the ending, and they all had to just get killed Fucking by those thorns. Died in that maze. He was like, oh yeah. And then somebody's like, oh, all the life force in that thorn outside of the ring is dead. And I was like, oh, they killed everybody. Yeah. No, no, ruthless. Yeah. Um, it's was, it was just like a really fun, like and well written episode in my opinion, because like just like the the giant and the and the fairy king, and the team ups and like the conversations in between. Even though like you know you're in battle, but like, the conversations were so like essential too. Like it was just like a perfect, well rounded episode for me. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you on that one. Also, I just like they did a really good job of just like how do I say this? Like show I don't know introducing. I felt like Elaine and Elizabeth, yeah. you know. To each like, other. Yeah, they do. It was. I'm not gonna lie. It was a little cheesy at some points. I mean, I it was kinda, very, very I've cheesy met at some points. Like that for my life, like but some, it was very like, cute. It was like somewhere you like you just don't like them. Somewhere you just like connect like that, and you're like, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. like that happens. It it does happen. It's it's not like it doesn't happen, but not. I don't know. Not probably not battle, but it was cute. I'm glad they like connected and like. Cause, and, like they're dating each other. Like they're but like the guy best friends. So like it's just cute. And, uh... The guy's fighting over who's the best, though. That gym locker talk of the guys were happening. Yeah, gym That's what I was trying to get at. I'm just gonna say... Uh, that's happened, like, in high school, probably. Yeah, bro. That, that shit right there is, like, that's straight up high school. I don't... I don't I've don't. i never, ever been like, yo, my girlfriend's... I've never done well, that. Well, Meliodas is so high school, because, like, Bon was like, oh, I like, you know, it's not about touching boobs and blah, blah, blah. And Meliodas was like, yo, it is. But then, you know, Bon fell for it when he's, like... He was good until he oh, fell yeah, for, they, like... They were they were going at it with each other. It was it was. It was I'm not gonna lie, Melio just made that conversation very awkward. It was so funny. Out of told both bro, shut up. It was just funny though. Like I love their friendship a lot. Like because you do have some friends where you just talk about like oh. no filter. You have that no filter with some certain friends. I don't know. I mean, sure. I mean, I just have one friend I'm like no filter with. <laughs> Regardless though, it was. You, you're right. They they have a very intimate friendship. Yeah. Yeah, um, I love it. Uh, it was good seeing Elaine, like, because I was, when, when that Elaine and Elizabeth fight happened, I was like, when they were paired, I was like, you know what, they'll be fine, they have Elaine in there. Yeah. Elaine, like, sat there and protected the gar that, that tree for the longest time. And then on top of that, she fucking, like, gave, gave, like, she basically made Bond. You know what I mean? So, like. But, like, not only not fight, though, like, she fought and everything, but, like, Elizabeth with her words about, like, the the other people's like oh yeah, yeah it was that was just, really dope like her like speech and everything yeah she like, like she's she's royalty that understands the the issues that her kingdom has done yeah and not many uh people in that kind of stage can, can admit to that well this is just so good with her words and like her energy drawing people in like and calming them around and stuff yeah she was trying to like be the healer and protect and heal him but then like obviously they were just like oh we're gonna 
suck them into this hole, and they're expelled. They're ejected from this uh, tournament. Yeah. Um, King and uh, Diane. Diane yeah. So cute. I just want them fucking to finally just remember and love each other. Yeah, they're very. When very, am I gonna get that moment? They're they're a very very cute little uh, duo. Um, I thought when they, I, I didn't notice that it was giant against fairy until like they said that like, oh, I don't, maybe we should have. I said that first before them. Oh well. I said I'm too. sorry. And I was like, yeah, that's all I was saying. I agreed with them. Well. Wow. I was always thinking, I was like, that's, that's pretty sick. I mean, it was really cool. It was just like, it was just like by Roll. fate. And like, it's just really cool to meet the first fairy king. And like now he's a. Yeah, she's one of those. That he, he sh- I feel like. It's, it's, it's an androgynous he, character. It's like, it's one of those characters where like, you don't know. It's yeah. kind of like Gother. You don't know. Oh yeah, we saw Gother by the way, and that one person recognized Gother from the from the uh, commandment. So there goes that right there. It was just, there was just so much that happened. It was so good. I love it all. Like it was just very well written, very funny. Like I can't really like to kill Escanor. I feel like I suck. All yeah, I know. And they give him the drop of litter of life. Like, we can grant any kind of wish you want. But uh, more and more as we watch this, more and more we find out the commandments were prior. They're, they remind me of the Katsuki. Yeah, why? Because, like, you know, Katsuki is, like, a group, and they're made up of, like, all the different, like, village, like, yeah. badasses or whatever the fuck. I feel like the commandments, they're, like, all, a, like, from different, like, races and different whatever that we're used to. And they were, like, really, really badass, but they become a commandment. Yeah. You know, but they, they fell into the Demon King yeah. after uh, a long ass time, so... That. I'm really excited. We'll see where... I'm excited to see the other, like, team-ups now fight. Like, one with Oh, the... yeah. Oh, God. I hope the kid survives. The kid will survive. Oh, let's see the Oslo fight. Let's see what Oslo's got. Oslo and... The... And, and what's her name? Majora? Uh, uh, Matrona. Matrona. Majora. What the fuck? He's thinking Majora's mask from Zelda. But, uh... Yeah, man. I'm excited. You guys anything else? No. Well, we met... I feel like we definitely missed Mikey on this one. This was a fun episode. He'll would be have... back next week. He would have... Like, there have been so many, like, fun comments on this one with him. But, you know, next we'll get his opinion on that. Thank you guys for watching along with the two of us. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you all so much for joining us to watch this week's episode of The Seven Deadly Sins. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons. Aaron, Desiree, Eleanor, Exploring Dylan, I Am Peak Tacos, Joe Mike, Jules, Light Yagami, Michael, Hunter, Nate Comfort, Poppy, Quentin, Martin, Ricky, and Ruby Tiger. Thank you all so much and have an amazing day.